So last month, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he called my phone, we chopped it up or whatever. And that's when he was like, he trying to see me. And I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me. But before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules. So I know what I can and can't say. You feel me? So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you want if you want a baby mama, me, just say that. <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach, asking me, do I want kids? I was like, yeah, I want one. I want a little boy. So we watch a movie. We drinking Casamigos. Then y'all know. Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. I don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird. But y'all know I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like, just because I recorded you, really? But I had posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? Moral of the story. Don't pull your phone out. Okay, I'm going to jump right into this reaction video. Ladies, stop chasing celebrity men and women. Stop chasing them. They're regular people. They're people who have talents and who have gifts that have been given to them by God just like everybody else. Everybody has gifts. Whether your gift has taken off to the point that you're a multimillionaire, you're a billionaire, you're, it doesn't matter. The simple fact is we all have gifts and talents. We all are people. We all are, are human. At the end of the day, no matter what your career is, if you're a doctor, when you go home, you're not a doctor. That's your profession. But you're a person just like everybody else. And everybody out here wants love, true love. No one wants to feel like the only way they can have even remotely a real relationship is by having you sign an NDA. Do you think that's how celebrities want to live their life? They don't want the price of love to come at the price of their net worth. You know, your net worth it does not equate your value. Your value as a person is priceless. Can you imagine if you spent your whole life having stories and history and family and everything personal and then one day you grow up as an adult and you make it in an industry and because everybody knows who you are now your whole life is equated to antiquated to your net worth that's all that it's about now it's about how much money's in your pocket everybody wants to be with you because you're this major artist because you you're on this three three minute music video even if you've done a million now everybody wants to be with you just because your name is drake but at the end of the day drake is not drake when he goes home drake is aubrey drake is a somebody's child somebody's loved one somebody's relative somebody's cousin he has regular stories just like everybody else he didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth just not everybody grew up that way so Chasing people for clout is disheartening for you and it's disheartening for them too because 
it constantly re of reaffirms what they already think that no one wants to be with them for who they are everybody wants to be with them for what they have and that can be almost like a curse in itself and that's why the love of money can be the root of all evil if you're going to date someone, date someone because you want to get to know them. And no matter what the amount is in their bank account, you should give them a chance because of them. Don't just hook up with them because they're a celebrity.